uh, what we've done through this program, this generator project, is we've uh, outfitted, or we're in the process of outfitting all the community centers and the conference center with uh, generators that will make those facilities fully operational uh, if we were to lose power in the city. Uh, the importance of this is that if we had a no notice kind of emergency, such as like a tornado, you had a hazmat incident, uh, or something that's planned, such as a hurricane that, or a tropical storm that came through, now we have extra facilities that we could open as any type of immediate or emergency shelter. A shelter is a last resort. Uh, we, when we talk about preparedness, one of the things that you should always be prepared on is where you're going to go if, the, if there is a direct hit with a storm. So. Uh, we don't want citizens to rely on using a shelter. We want them to rely on their preparedness and their plans that they have in place uh, to get out of the area. Uh, if it's a last ditch effort and we have to open a shelter or you have to go to a shelter, uh, we'll advertise those to the city uh, through the city's website, um, through news media outlets, and then we'll put out you know, what facilities are open. But we always encourage individuals to really have a strong plan in place uh, to move out of the area if possible. Now, a quick safety reminder for anyone who has a generator for their own home. There are serious safety considerations. Keep generators outside and away from windows and doors to prevent carbon monoxide from entering your home. Never leave a generator in a garage, even if the door is open. Generators might also allow flammable vapors into the home. Gasoline vapors can travel, and if they reach an ignition source, they will ignite. So if you have a generator, please educate yourself on best practices and use it carefully.